All right, here we go. Please get a shit. 1191 Park. So this is going to get people confused because a couple days ago I said, don't eat if you're going to go out. But it was don't eat if you're going to go out to eat, right? So if you're going to go meet for dinner or party or something, okay, yeah, don't eat before that. But today, I was really hungry most of the day, okay? So I was telling Jill, yeah, I'm eating minimal this week. You know, all vegetarian stuff, whatever, and, you know, celery. But the thing is, yeah, today I worked all day, and then it's like about like, uh, say about 4 o'clock, right? And I realized, oh my gosh, all I did was drink like this big tea thing, you know, that, that, that ice, not iced tea, but you just put it green tea in, inside the water thing and just let it sit there. That's all I had. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go out and exercise. I'm going to go do stuff. But what I realized is when I was getting ready to go, I realized that everything just sounded really good to me. Oh, man, I want to go to Costco. I want to get a slice of pizza. You know what? I'm going to go to pizza and just buy a pizza. Oh, you know what? Maybe a little Caesar and buy pizza there. Oh, in and out. Oh, let's see Tommy Burger. You know, all that kind of stuff, right? I'm going, all right. I think the reason why all this stuff was happening is because I was just super hungry. And I knew that if I go out, I'm driving by whatever, and you see like a fast food place, or whatever, and you're like, oh. So what I did was I just went and I realized I wanted to get some type of meat so I boiled two hamburger patties and then like half a thing of bacon and then you know you boil it let all fat go drain it right and then put a bunch of stir-fried vegetables from Costco you know that that Asian salad Chinese salad thing I don't know what it's called but it's like it's uh, you put that in there, can of black beans, some garlic, scoop of jalapenos, and uh, yeah, some garlic, and then just let it sit there, set and forget it. And thing is, I did make a mistake. I shouldn't have did this, but I did anyway. I had that spinach that I made last week, right? I figure, okay, it's in the refrigerator. How bad could it be, right? Anyways, oh, it's cooked spinach. Just so you know, but I stuck it in there. So, you know, I made the stuff, looks all black or whatever. But the thing is, it's really good. And so normally, like on one sitting, I'll eat like all of it. You know, if I cook it like early in the day, then I'll eat it all day, just, just, just grazing on the stuff. But this one, I realized, okay, I ate a bowl. And I was still a little bit hungry. And then just for sake, safety reasons, I had another partial bowl of it because I didn't want to eat after this. So as a result, I'm super full. There was, the only carbs was from the beans and uh, drank water. So today was a very successful day. And so I'm gonna go here, go to the gym, get some sweat on, and then uh, go home and try to sleep earlier than normal. So I don't have to like, attempt to eat. All right, so mind you, I still, I still have a craving for soda, okay? But I know that if I drink it, I will only drink like one cup. But I didn't drink one cup. I'm still drinking water. I was saying if I did. And what I realized is I'm not craving chocolate at all. I'm like, I think I kicked the habit. I'm not really excited. You know, I mean, like those egg tart things, maybe stuff like that. I, I don't mind those type of sweets. You know, go to 85 Degrees Bakery or, you know, cream puffs. But, you know, like actually pure sugar treats, I'm not into it. I just don't feel it. But, you know, I, I realized that I had to just focus on making sure I'm filled up with good stuff for you and then see how my body reacts to it over time. And then, yeah. 
you know it's really awesome when I'm walking around, right? And then so I realized, you know, my mask is like decoration. Everybody's not really wearing it. But you see the kids playing and stuff. You know, they just have the mask over there so they can still breathe. Oh, wow, I feel so good. But, you know, they're running around all happy and stuff. And, yeah, of course, you know, you're supposed to cover your nose and stuff. But they're kids. I don't think they're going to get whatever. So, whatever, I still have mine on. You know, I just thought about, you know, okay, if I'm just going to eat something just to fill myself up before I go, why don't I eat oatmeal? Right? I mean, that, I heard a lot of people are in shape that eat a lot of oatmeal. I got to I got to look that up. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. But I don't know. I know my friend was on that protein powder stuff and then she got sick. But to defense of protein powder, she's the only one I heard ever got sick. But I don't know. All right, there you go. Day 1191 in the books. So, you know, about feeling yourself up before you go out, I have to adjust accordingly. Because, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have ate the other extra half bowl of the stuff. I should have just ate that one, fill up with that in the water, and then fine. But no, I didn't. But as a result, I don't feel like dropping by the fast food place or whatever. Okay? I don't even feel like eating when I get home. I feel pretty good. I should be able to go to the gym, burn off some calories, and uh, go for it, right? Weather's pretty nice, but it's a thing about, you know, if you go out with like being on empty, right? Then you're gonna always just be craving, and then so, you know, I, I've been known to like, you know, if I'm like, oh, you know what, Chinese food sounds good, I'll drive all the way to Chinese food for like 30 minutes or whatever. You know, this one, since I get everything uh, taken care of, I, I don't feel like eating, though. I don't feel like driving. It's like, ah, oh, you know what, add some of this stuff at home. So I have some of that chili stuff at home still. And uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna eat it tonight, really. I mean, I feel really good. So it's about curving the appetite, but making sure that you fill up before you go. So anyways, that's that. Remember, it's about filling up. So to prevent you from eating bad stuff later. Whatever. So Big Daddy Shin, day 1191. If I get exercise 1191 days in a row, you get exercise 1191 days in a row. Because if I could do it, you could do it. And I'm doing it. Uh, preventative fill-up.